Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little bit of decluttering and so I turned on the camera and you guys are going to join me. I'm not gonna lie, I actually started cleaning out the bathroom drawers which is what we're going to declutter first. I started like cleaning it out and then putting everything back in to film and declutter. And then I thought, how silly, like that's just so ridiculous. You guys probably wanna see decluttering that is realistic because chances are if you have an area that needs to be decluttered, it's likely dirty and dusty as well because you know, that's why it's not decluttered because everything is just sitting there in a pile and you need to deal with it. So today we're going to go through certain areas of my home that I have been thinking about that have been nagging at me each day and we are going to quickly declutter everything. This is going to be as quick as possible and hopefully it will help motivate you guys. Quickly turn me on the TV if you guys want to do some decluttering of your own or you can just take a phone around with you. I don't know, that's what I like to do. I like watching YouTube videos while I do tasks like this. So maybe you guys can watch me. But let's go into the bathroom first and see what we can get rid of. I apologize for the lighting and angles guys. This bathroom is super tiny. Um, but really all we need to go through is my bathroom drawers. If you guys are interested in an actual organization video, then please subscribe and like this video because I will be purchasing some organization tubs to give me a piece of mine you guys will see why soon here she is here is my drawer this is actually the drawer that I wipe down and put everything back in as you can see really everything ends up just being thrown in here so I do need some tubs to like keep everything upright so we can fit more in here as well as obviously keep everything tidy because when you can't see things you are not going to use it and then it expires and it's just a waste of money and mental energy keeping all this stuff in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab everything out that I do not want, that I can donate or that I do not use and then we're going to check them into a bucket and just take that bucket with us into the next area that we are decluttering. Okay, here is what we have left. It's basically my skincare, some oils, moisturizer, some teeth things. Yeah, that's basically it. Up here is what we found. A lot of this is actually just things that don't belong here, so I need to take this downstairs. Um, these I'm going to take downstairs as well. This needs to go in my bedroom. Ew, there's a hair. In my bedroom where it belongs. And then, oh, the lighting. Everything else can go. I don't use this. All of these things are either going to be donated or go in the bin. And I'm just going to chuck them either in the bin or into my basket to take into the next spot. are going to be donated. I'm going to use this tub for the donation items. Again, apologies for the lighting. So now we're going to go through my girl's clothing. I have been putting off getting rid of a lot of clothes because these items are what my girls wear all the time. They love them, they are good quality pieces, but a lot of them are stained. And originally I was going to just save them and try to sew them up myself and buy some like stain remover but it hasn't happened and it's been like four months so I'm going to just confess to myself that I'm never going to do it and we are going to be donating these clothes my girls have plenty of clothes they can live in until I repurchase some more and I tend to do that during Black Friday sales. That is when I do a big buy for all my kids because everything is good quality and it's half price. See? Stains that I'm not going to get rid of. Another dress that the girls love but it is super stained as well. 
I'm laughing because that is literally like all the tops and dresses the girls have. I do think there are some clothes that are on the line, but they're on the line so the girls wear them. Um, everything in here the girls basically wear. My kids at the moment aren't really fussy. They're fussy on the day, but they're not fussy with the piece, if that makes sense. So they will wear all their clothes. Um, it's just depending on the day, they might not want to wear a certain something and they'll choose another item. But for now, the kids wear everything and so we're good up here. Let's move down the bottom. If you guys have watched my other decluttering videos, you've probably seen that I store my girls' bottoms um, and pajamas in these baskets. It's just a lot easier and quicker to clean up when the girls want to play dress ups and they pull everything out. Look, I would love to have perfectly folded drawers, but it just does not happen. So let's go through these bottoms and pajamas and see what can go. Okay, so I found a dress that I love. It's so beautiful. It's from Earthside Essentials. Again, one of my favorite Instagram stores, uh, but it has torn at the seam. I am gonna donate them because this dress was like $80 and if someone is good at sewing, it's at the seam so they can quickly sew this up. I am just not going to do that. These have like tiny bits of stains on them, but again, they're completely wearable. My girls just have a lot of them and it's just unnecessary. So donate them before they're completely destroyed. These have like stains on the bum again, but they're really cute. So we can donate these. They're the same shorts in two different sizes because my girls are 14 months apart. I don't know why, but they don't wear them. When they were smaller, they'd wear it all the time because I dress them. And now they do not wear this. I think it's the style of the shorts. They just don't like how it feels on them. Um, it kind of looks like a nappy, but I think they're really cute. So I am going to donate them as well. I might actually move the donations into this basket because it's bigger. And we'll put the relocate items in the white one. The ice cream truck man guy is outside if you hear him. But let's get into the boys' clothing. So my son has been given a lot of clothes. You guys would have seen that in the past. And we are now at the point where I know what he wears and what he is not going to wear. And I'm going to assume if he's not wearing it, then my younger son is probably not going to wear these items as well. is too small I would say for my five-year-old it's a cute button up it has dinosaurs on and my son does wear it but my one-year-old he's nearly two is big enough that whenever my eldest son grows out of clothes I can just put it straight into my one-year-old's closet which is pretty good if you ask me so I'm going to keep this but relocate it and then let's just quickly go through these other things on the side and see if we can get rid of anything another shirt yeah I'm not really a fan so donate and then huh, I don't know why these were up there but that can go back into his drawer because it has been quite chilly at night the great thing when you get really good at decluttering is you will end up with a lot of empty space especially if you have not even a really large home but a larger home for your family so my sons have like a three door closet it's massive but this whole middle section both up top and in the middle has nothing in there we just keep the like um portable aircon because we don't have aircon in our house and then this is my one-year-old hanging closet. Again, there's nothing really in here. Let me show you something. All right, if you have kids who are six and under, I bought this from Little Atelier. I'll leave all the links to my recommended kids clothing companies in the description box. I got this on half price. Uh, they're doing a sale at the moment and it's so cute. 
Isn't that adorable? It's a size three. It's my son's birthday soon, so I did buy that for him. And I have a bunch of this stuff that I highly recommend, really great quality. How fast is that? That I reckon that would have taken me five seconds if I quickly skim through. Um, that's how quick it can be, guys. I can literally declutter my entire home within, I reckon, 10 minutes tops, like a good declutter. And when you're constantly doing it like that, you were just constantly looking out for items to get rid of. When it does come to doing a full house declutter, it can be so quick and easy. I'm actually going to be filming a video on exactly that, my system on how to declutter your whole house fast because I know that you guys are interested in that, especially if you are new on this journey. So let's get organizing and we'll go to the drawers. what we have found in the boys room so I found a book that we never read that can go one pair of shorts these are just really uncomfortable on my son he still wears a nappy and they fall down because they're stiff so these can go they are cool shorts though um, this top is a bit stained I just bought it which is really annoying then like I showed you guys a bunch of button ups that he's never going to wear this top is from Atila Co Atila Cubs. They're from Bali and they are amazing. Again, go check them out. Link in the description box. But it's a little bit raggedy and like, you know when material gets thin? So that needs to go. And then this white top has little stains. So I just, I wish I was a better laundry person, but I'm not. If you're a bit confused, these, remember this is my relocate pile and then these nappies I'm going to put in the girls room because we found out I'm having a girl, yay! So um, yeah, this is just going to be relocated. Behind me is where I keep all my homeschool things and I'm not actually sure if there is anything in here to declutter but we're gonna have a look anyway. I have already cleared out a few like files that we have used up and we no longer need. Let's get looking, we'll see what we can find. These are the wipe and clean books that I start my kids on when they are like three years old and they are just really used up so a lot of the pages are clear but I find that the more you use them the pen gets stuck and I know I can go to the effort of like clearing it all out but I really don't want to so they can be donated. This is the same type of book. Someone gave this to us. And I do not have a child who can read this book, so that's going to be donated. This needs to be relocated. Um, and then I also found like a bunch of printouts that I've made. I feel like when you start homeschool, you get excited and then you just print everything out that you find. And a lot of the freebies online are like, they're just posters. They're not actual activities. And so because I already have curriculum, I think I'm just going to take my losses and realize that I'm never going to use these and to just check it out. Okay, I might keep the artist ones because look how beautiful this is. Are they not beautiful paintings? So I might keep that, but the rest can just go in the bin. I used to use a timetable, a visual timetable. It was like an extra task I had to do on top of preparing the school day. So they can go as well. It honestly would not be a video of mine if this video did not take multiple days to make. So it is actually a lot of days later and we are back to finishing our decluttering. So 
there's actually like a bunch of little random things around my house that need to go that just have been bugging me and I feel like when you go throughout your day and there are just little items around your home that just they irritate you and you don't know why it's just the fact that they exist in your house it's time to declutter them so here's item number one this has been sitting on my desk for so long I bought it because I needed some dice for my son's homeschool and like I don't need the rest of this and I kept it because it's so nice and I just bought it but yeah I think this can go also my husband bought me this set of little plant pot holder thingies that um, I don't use the material also gets moldy really quickly and it's starting to get some mold so I'm going to try and sell this because it's in perfectly new condition there is just like tiny little spots and spores that I can see um, that I don't want to deal with and I don't have anything to put it in anyway so I'm going to try and sell this so I will put that up now before I put it off forever If I don't post things up on Facebook Marketplace that I want to get rid of immediately, I'm not going to do it. So do it straight away. That way it's out of sight, out of mind. Keep it close to your front door and hopefully it's sold within two weeks. I like putting a time limit on it. If it does not sell within two weeks, I am just going to donate it because otherwise it's just sitting there and it's really not worth the five, ten, twenty dollars that I'm going to make. I think now what we are going to do is we're just going to go around my home super quickly and find random things that I can get rid of and yeah, hopefully everything is clear and done by then, but let's try and be really quick. I hope the lighting's not too funny. So I went into my laundry room where we store our swimmers and I have a feeling that there's going to be a few things in here that we can get rid of. can go and I actually realized that this is one of the items that I keep seeing that I want to get rid of. My son made it during homeschool with our expectant Easter curriculum. It's a cross and he got to hammer it all in and put it together but it's just lying around, keeps falling on the ground so we're going to just chuck this in the rubbish. This can be donated and then I do think there is one or two more items upstairs that I know I want to throw out. These can go in the bin. I like switching up my kids' art, but needs to go in the rubbish. And I think if you remember that decluttering is not just getting rid of good things, it's also getting rid of rubbish that is just lying around your home. And not to say this is rubbish, but it's going in the bin, so I guess it is. Also, we've had this for so long, so many years, but I don't even use it, so this can go in the bin as well. And yeah, this is kind of useless as well. I keep in my closet and what I do just over time if I'm getting dressed or if I notice that there's something lying around the home that we don't need or use I will chuck it in here and then the next time I go to the op shop and do a big clear out I will throw it all into a bag and get rid of it so a lot of these items have been sitting in here for a while I haven't had time to go to the shop so make sure you put a time limit on getting rid of things otherwise it's just going to live in your closet or wherever you end up storing it and I was trying to sell this but it will not sell I'm gonna keep it and I might just buy another one okay I think we're done I also found another bag of items that I've been needing to get rid of little Jesus book 
This thing has just been lying in my cupboard and we never ever use it. So going to donate that. My hubby's shoes. Um, look, he did buy new vans and he's he has not worn this for like four years. Usually I would say never declutter anyone's things. Look, I think I have good grounds to tell him you never wore these. We are getting rid of them. You know, I'm getting rid of them. Need to do it before you say no. Stop second guessing yourself and just do it. Don't think about it because I promise you half the things you would have decluttered are going to go back in the closet and they will sit there again nagging at you for the next year to come. This is full but it's toxic. Yes, I still use toxic things but I guess you need to balance things out and just get rid of what you can and so I really don't need this anymore. I have actually allowed my natural oils to fix my scalp so I don't actually get oily hair anymore so that can go and we have been left with this basket that we can take to the op shop so that is how easy decluttering your home can be on an everyday everyday basis honestly it's about doing little declutters throughout every day each week every other week and eventually everything accumulates that you were giving away, you were left with a more peaceful looking, minimal, tidy home that you actually enjoy being around. Remember, the more things you own, the more things you have to manage. And managing things takes up a lot of brain space, guys. Like even just seeing items around your home, if it's annoying you, just chuck it away. Doesn't matter if it was a gift. It doesn't matter if it's something your kids made. If it is annoying you, get rid of it because no one likes a grumpy mum or a grumpy wife. If it's affecting you negatively, it's really not worth keeping because items are meant to improve your life. They are meant to give value to your life. And when it's not doing that, it's just a waste of time. Like, it's what's the point? Just get rid of it. No one cares. No one's going to say anything. But my camera light is flashing, so I'm going to go put this straight into my car. Do not go store it away, guys. Otherwise, it will just sit there for another few months. Put it straight into your car and do a drop-off the next time you leave the house. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.